In this video, let me show you a utility that a lot of folks don't know about inside of Logic. It's one of those things, it's a little off the beaten path or hard to find, but it's incredibly useful. The normalize region gain allows us to set a target for the level of a region or track. And let me show you a few examples of how this could be used. Now in this session, I have some background vocals. They were sung at different times by different people, so they're all at different levels. To make this blend more easily, we can set a target level for all of these so it will be consistent. Let's take a look. This first track right here, if we look down at the fader, it's coming in around minus 15, and that's a pretty good level. What I'm going to do is set that as a target up here. So I'm going to go to Normalize Region Gain. Instead of Collective, I want this to be an individual track. And I'm going to set minus 15 for my target. Hit Return and hit Return again. And now this track, that's been set as the peak level. If I want all of these to be the same now, I can do the same thing for these. So I'm going to grab all of them and control option G opens up the same thing individual tracks the peak minus 15 I'm going to apply and now all of these are going to come in at a consistent level and of course I can use my faders to blend when I want things to be quieter but they're now at a consistent gain if we look down here we've added 5 dB to this one to make it that way here we've added close to 3 just a little bit to this one. So we've got a real consistent level going through all of our background vocals. That's going to make it a whole lot easier to set up a nice blend. Now if we go to the track stack or the aux that we have all of these going into, the other thing this will allow is for our compressor to be hit at a consistent level from all of these tracks. Rather than one being extremely loud and hitting the compressor hard and other ones being quiet, we're now hitting it across the board pretty consistently. That should help glue them together uh, pretty well. All right, so that's one example. I've got all of these tracks. I want them to be at consistent gains, so I've set up my normalized gain utility to do that for me. Another example might be a drum loop. Let me mute the background vocals. Now, if we look at the fader down here, this is hitting pretty hot, as most loops do. I've got on pre-fader metering, so it's going to show us the clip gain, the gain of this particular loop. And I can use the same thing here, Control-Option-G, open it up. And in this case, why don't I set it at minus 7, hit return, hit return again, you can see the audio is much lower. And I might be able to use this more easily inside of a track so I'm not clipping. And you can see over here it subtracted 7 dB to get us there. So that's a quick way to do that. We might also use this in a drum kit with our toms. Let's listen to these for a moment. I'll solo them. Pretty inconsistent with our levels. So what I want to do here is the same thing. I want to make these blend together better. Control Option G. And in this case, I'll hit minus 5. Hit Apply. And now our toms are more consistent. As they pan around, you can hear the volumes are, or the gains are pretty much the same. So that's another example of how to use this normalize region gain inside of Logic. It's found right up here, normalize region gain, or with option control G, you can open it up. Typically, I'm using it for individual tracks or regions. I'm usually adjusting the peak, and I'm setting a target right here. And just remember, you kind of got to hit this twice. So if I hit minus 6, I hit return once, it's now set that as a target, and I hit it again, it's now going to set it with these tracks. 
All right, so hopefully this is a utility that you'll wind up using and it'll help you blend tracks together better, especially ones that are paired up and maybe hard panned right and left like two guitar tracks or background vocals that all should be fairly consistent.